Hello, this is the presentation of the cooperation of VC tools with CSI eTabs in the assessment of existing buildings or of existing designs of new buildings. In our case, we have the assessment of an old reinforced concrete building, which is shown in this drawing. This building is a four-story reinforced concrete building with B160 concrete of the old DIN type and rebars of style 1. The story height is 3 meters. As we can see from the structural system, in the X direction it is a dual system which has four walls, rectangular walls at the corners, while in the Y direction it only has some moment resisting frames. In this drawing, which is available in the examples, we have the existing reinforcement of all beams, columns and walls and also their dimensions. The scope of this example is to see how we assess this building, the sufficiency of this building to gravity and seismic loads. In the next example, we will show how this building can be strengthened using the features of ETABs and DC tools. So, going back, after we prepare the model in ETABs, which we prepare it following some rules, then we can go and perform the assessment using DC tools. The rules that we follow in ETABs are in short the following. Walls are defined with cell elements and are given a peer name. For example here T1, T2, T3 and T4. They are given the same name along the height if they want to be judged as a single element while they can be given a different name if they want to be assessed as independent elements thus not applying any capacity rule etc. Beams and columns are defined using 1D elements while the slabs are defined using cell elements as well. The materials are defined from the appropriate material tabs while the sections from the appropriate section tabs and finally the load cases are defined for the static ones dead and live from the static load cases with an additional equivalent static one for the X direction and equivalent static for the Y direction excitation which is done by using the available features of ETABs. The base here coefficient does not play any account, any role. Then we define the response spectrum functions, which is a Eurocode 8 equivalent spectra, highly damped or inelastic design spectra, and the static the response spectrum load cases, the seismic load cases, which have been defined for the X and Y direction respectively. We also Then run the analysis, which here, for the sake of brevity, has been already performed. And then we print from the print tables, print input table, where we check all elements and we select print to file and we print as example to input. Then we print the output tables. Again, we select all options and all the loads that we need to go out to EC tools. We again print to file, example 2 output, and we print the output file. Then we open EC tools and from the first tab first we go to the general options where we select the language of the R report where we select the log file we load the two files we just created example to input and example to output and then we go and define all the design options a medium ductility building according to EN 1992 and 1998, meaning EC2 and DC8 respectively. This is not 
an uncap or, or an inverted pendulum already has a regular elevation. The control period is 0.6, the important class is 2. The, is a Q0 override of 2.5. This Q0 denotes the Q factor that is automatically calculated by Eurocode date for new buildings. However, for existing buildings, this has to be defined by the designer, either by his experience or by performing more detailed pushover analysis or dynamic nonlinear analysis. We will design it according to the Italian national annex. We select all the checks to be performed. We also select the concrete cover fire design checks. And we also select the automatic generation of combinations. So we start. Finally, we check, we enable the building check option where we have the opportunity to define the partial load factors for loads and partial load factors for materials which can be either greater or less than the ones of defined for new buildings. We start the design and then we end up with a table which in, within which we have to declare all the existing reinforcements for the beams flexor, the columns flexor, the beam shear and the column shear. This can be defined either in number of rebars at each position, left, bottom, left, top, center, bottom, center, top, right, bottom, right, top, or by areas of reinforcement. And we also define a local new factor. This local new factor actually represents the local ductility of the of several elements, which for all our purposes in an existing building with all the old uh, structural elements, it equals the Q factor. We press continue, then we end up with this intermediate set of tabs where we have the materials created in eTabs, the sections created in eTabs, and the elements with the section assignments from eTabs. It should be noted that the walls are defined as SD sections general sections within NUS because they have a specific reinforcement. They are not to be designed, they are to be assessed. Therefore, they have been designed within NUS. NUS is a section designer section analysis software which can be found in the second tab of EC Tools when it's not in operation. So, all these materials and sections are editable within Easy tools, therefore we can change them, we can add new ones, we can amend them and then update our E2K or EDB model in eTabs. We do that because sometimes something does not correspond to our needs, yet we don't know how much we need to change it. And instead of changing the analysis model and running the analysis again, which is a cumbersome procedure, we prefer to change it in the design, see the effect it has, and then update the analysis model and perform the final run of analysis and design. So after we have done all this, here we go to the next step, where we select the available loads dead and live, and we end earthquake in the X and Y direction. So we attribute each load case to its definition and we start the design. We see now the design being performed for beams, columns and walls. We see here the general analysis report produced in English. We see all the combinations that have been designed. We see the checks of Eurocode 8 per story. We see that we have torsional sensitivity of the building. We see that it's inadequate for fire design according to Eurocode 8 part 3. And then we go and review beams that are failing at some 
positions either in shear or in flexor we see for example here that we have a, a provided 778 and an a, a, provi a provided rig bars of 3.0 8 and a required rebar of 7.78 therefore it's inadequate the same can be seen for beams that are not failing we see from this bar we can see that with red we have the elements that are failing and with blue we have the elements that are not failing and by pressing on one of these bars, which each one of them represents one beam, we can directly lead our calculation report to this element. We then also can see the same for columns, where we see that they are inadequate, and we can check why they are inadequate from our section analysis software, where we open immediately the most severe of all combinations, the one that is already denoted here at bottom and top and we also see the walls the walls are also opened in noose and they also correspond to bottom and top they correspond to the most severe analysis while we see in the second story we don't have any failures of walls as was expected therefore this is the final report that is produced and with this we can assess that this building requires strengthening the strengthening scheme and its application will be presented in the following example the same procedure, exactly the same procedure, could be defined also for just assessing the design of, an, of a new building, wherein we would just have to provide the existing reinforcement as existing reinforcement, the results of the previous analysis we have performed with another software or has been performed by another professional. Thank you very much.